This is a patient who comes in with uh, concern for an active GI bleed. So we do our GI bleeding protocol, which consists of a non-contrast study followed by an arterial phase and a more delayed phase through the abdomen and pelvis. So here we have the non-contrast phases as we're scrolling through, and uh, we look to see if there's any high density in the bowel prior to giving the contrast. There's a few diverticula which have some high density, probably some from some prior barium, but overall looks pretty good. I want you to focus though on the ileocecal valve. We can see a fatty portion of it right over there. As we go to arterial phase, on the first glance, sort of scrolling through all of this, it looks pretty okay. I don't see any areas of um, active extravasation. And I'll focus again back on the uh, ileocecal valve. and. We'll go for a delayed phase, and again, going back to that ileocecal region, you can actually see there's the fatty valve there. There's some high density adjacent to it, and that's sort of going inside the bowel lumen. You look back, here's that high density there adjacent to the ileocecal valve. You look back, no high density present on the non-contrast images. And so these findings are compatible with an active bleed right in the cecum, in the vicinity of the ileocecal valve, a finding that was present on the arterial phase, somewhat subtle, but it was there and much more evident on the delayed phase images.